An eye injury is a scary thing for people to deal with. Injuries to the eye can be especially disturbing for a first aid provider. Eyes can be injured in many ways. For example, a little bit of dirt, metal shaving, sawdust, or an object hitting the eye can cause a scratch that can be quite painful and irritating. So make sure the victim does not rub their eyes as this can cause more damage. Other injuries could include an impaled object like a stick or a screwdriver. Cleaning chemicals, powders, or battery acid can splash into the eye and cause burns that can be very painful and even cause permanent damage. Now, somebody with an eye injury is gonna be very scared. Could be because of the pain, but it also could be because of the inability to see well. So keep talking to the victim to keep them calm. Try to avoid wrapping bandages over their ears because it can cause more anxiety for the victim to not be able to see and not hear clearly. An important thing to remember when caring for an eye injury is that the eyes move together. If only one eye is injured, both eyes need to be covered. If you cover just one eye and keep the other uncovered, the uncovered eye can still move around, causing the injured eye to move along with it, thereby causing more damage. When an eye has been impaled with an object, do not pull it out. Instead, a good solution is to place a plastic cup to cover the object without touching or moving, or putting pressure on the object. Then, bandage around the cup, covering both eyes. Remember to keep the bandage snug enough to hold, but not too tight. A bandage that's too tight can put too much pressure on the eyes and be very uncomfortable, if not damaging. The idea behind bandaging the eyes is just to stabilize and reduce the risk of further injury for the victim until the emergency services arrive. If you have an emergency where somebody gets a chemical in the eye, then bandaging is not the first thing we want to do. First, we need to wash the chemical away using at least lukewarm water for 15 minutes minimally, up to 30 minutes. And if you can use an other irrigation solution, you could use saline or pure water or just run them under the tap. If only one eye is affected, tilt the affected eye down while flushing so that the chemical does not get washed into the good eye. Now let's talk about black eyes. Black eyes are caused from a blunt injury, and they're usually minor, but they can result in a significant injury or head trauma. It's always a good idea to see a doctor to rule out a serious injury if you're not sure. But treatment for a black eye would include holding a cold compress over the injured eye for five to 10 minutes, while then removing it for five to 10 minutes. Be sure that the icy solution, if that's what you're gonna use, is covered with a towel so that we don't damage the soft, tender skin of the eye while holding that cold compress on. Be sure to look for any of the symptoms like impaired vision, inability to use the eye, uh, there's visible bleeding, or there's something on the white part of the eye that looks like damage, and if there's drainage coming from around the eyelid. Call the doctor immediately or go to the emergency room if any of these symptoms exist.